poi parlo io e poi io do la parola a Francesco Presidente. Certo. Iniziamo i lavori. Let's um, start our meeting. And uh, I think that um, that would be a just reward for the people who've turned up on time. I'm taking the floor as uh, president of the Ogola Manfa Foundation. I think I'm undeservedly president of the foundation because in the room there are colleagues and friends who um, would uh, be much more worthy of holding uh, this uh, position, or at least sharing this position, to reopen a discussion which um, is connected with uh, a great man who honored the country not only because of his great uh, scientific knowledge but also because of um, his great human value, Felice Polito. Today we've called on uh, a person who um, is uh, has extremely knowledgeable in this area and I wish to thank the Italian Parliament for having hosted this important meeting and I would like to thank uh, all those friends who have uh, come and I would now like to give the floor to Giorgio Lamanfa. In uh, deciding to organize a series of conferences on the problem of energy and more in general on science the Ugola Malfa Foundation decided that it was right to um, entitle this series of lectures in honor of uh, Felice Polito, who dealt with these issues with uh, great um, enthusiasm. Um, a lot of those present uh, knew him personally and uh, were friends. Together with the members of Felice Polito's family, the foundation established a scientific committee for the Felice Polito lectures, which um, will be planning future initiatives in this series. So this is the first of the lectures which um, will be um, entrusted to eminent scientists such as uh, Professor Richard uh, Carwin, who will be who will be listening to and. Uh, will be um, introduced to briefly. I'd like to say something about Felice Polito because it is an um, opportunity to remind you of this very important. He was born in Naples in 1915. He was the son of the professor of engineering at the local university. He graduated in uh, geology in 1938 and became lecturer of geology and applied geology in 1948. And in 1950, he was awarded the Chair of Applied Geology at the University of Naples. From 1952 to 1963, he was Secretary of uh, the National Committee for Nuclear Energy, which is the equivalent of the um, United States Committee on uh, Nuclear Energy. From this uh, position of responsibility, Ippolito was the major driver in the attempt to provide Italy with a modern um, energy policy by developing nuclear energy. And it was to a large extent thanks to his momentum that Italy in those years became one of the countries in the forefront of the development of uh, nuclear energy for civilian purposes. After having been uh, removed from the committee because of a scandal which uh, as was clearly understood, it uh, was designed to stop uh, the development of nuclear energy and uh, unjustly um, sentenced. He um, did not um, lose heart. He returned to university teaching in Naples and then in Rome. He was a European MP from 1979 to 89. He founded La the Italian edition of Scientific America, and, uh, late, and later the um, magazine 
energy and materi prime which we um, edited together and which um, reinitiated the battle for a modern energy policy. When he died in 1997, he was still working hard in, on a number of areas. I think that Felice Polito, I believe that those who met him will agree, was a person of outstanding qualities, a person who was eclectic and had uh, covered many aspects. As a geologist, he conducted a number of innovative studies in various areas of geology. As a lecturer, he was beloved by his students because of the enthusiasm he put into his teaching. As Secretary of Knen, he um, showed he was uh, capable of um, it was an excellent organizer. He was a person who read uh, widely and of great intellectual curiosity. Hippolyto belongs to the group of servants of the state um, who uh, followed in the footsteps of uh, Nitti, who had been uh, shaped in the IRI in the 30s, such as Alberto Beneduce, Donato Menichella, Francesco Giordani, Raffaele Mettioli, Enrico Cuccia, who were all from the south of Italy, if I can add that comment. In general, from a cultural standpoint, the greatest influence on him was um, from Benedetto Croce. He knew his work um, in depth, and uh, he, um, in his volumes of um, essays, is a very important article on Benedetto Croce. In a essay on Francesco Giordani, who was one of his teachers in Naples, he, um, point, he emphasized his respect for um, public um, activities and um, property, the, his um, careful stewardship of the community goods, his um, protectiveness of the rights of the state against uh, any abuse on the part, whatever it, wherever it may came from. And these are judgments which also um, fit um, Hippolyto well. With regard to his overall um, character, there's a very good sentence from Benito Croce, which Hippolyto quoted often, which said that poets, philosophers, and practical men do not exist because what is real is man, um, humankind, who is all these things together, and uh, and each of these things only um, as they are all these things together. And this is also a portrait of Felicia Polito, who was a scholar, a teacher, an intellectual, and a humanist. And these are the reasons why we thought it would be important to um, recall him uh, through an initiative which um, aims at considering it that his situation looks to the future. I think that uh, Professor Garvin knows that a referendum held the day, um, shortly after the Chernobyl incident uh, led to the abandonment of the Italian nuclear program. And apart from the huge economic costs of uh, dismantling existing nuclear power stations and uh, abandoning those which were being built, the greatest loss was the loss of scientific and technical knowledge which the work of scientists such as Hippolyto had been able to build up. As a result of the delay and the abandonment of its nuclear program, Italy is today in a position of extreme energy dependency. We're the second country in the world in terms of energy imports and the first if we take account of balance with uh, foreign countries we import approximately 40,000 gigawatts, um, gigawatt hours per year. The Ugola Foundation tends, wishes to provide Italian public opinion input for a new um, analysis of the problems and the prospects in the energy sector and uh, the government uh, should take an initiative in this area. We believe that to Parliament and to public opinion they should present a document on the state and the prospects of uh, Italian energy requirement and the way in which to address them on the basis of a discussion which needs to cover all environmental issues, the risks and the economic factors we need rapidly to establish a plan of action through which Italy in the course of a few years can provide itself with an energy policy which can put the country on a more solid footing than we have today. That's the intention of our initiative today and I'd like to give the floor to Francesco Cologero who will be introducing uh, Professor Garwin, I personally would like to thank Professor Garwin for the honour he does us and to our foundation for being here with us today. Thank you.